Hey, you guys. Yeah, we are expanding our team of broadcasters yes. tonight. Some we are, Hall of Famers, probably. Exactly, right? exactly. We have the legendary Al McCoy, who is now in his 50th season as the Suns broadcaster, also celebrating a very important birthday today. <laughs> yes, and we also have L.A. Williams, who has been broadcasting for the Suns. Nine years. Yes, Since 1993. 1993. <laughs> Raising the roof. Amazing. Yes, breaking barriers in the Navajo culture. That, okay, so that, Cam, that's take right, it away. Al, first of all, we want to wish you a happy birthday. 25 and holding, correct? <laughs> I like that number. I like that number. You know what you like I do. You love to talk basketball, so let's just let's get right to it. What do the Suns need to do? This is a must-win game, right? Well, every game is a must-win game. They're fortunate they still have home court advantage if it goes that far, but we need to see the Suns step up tonight. We know how they can play because we've seen it all year long. We just haven't really been able to see it in these four games in the playoffs against the Pelicans, and we need to see that type of play this evening. No what's, what's more important, shoot it better or be more physical? Well, be more physical because actually they've shot better than the 51% from the field, which is pretty good, not very good from three-point range, but they just need to be more aggressive, more physical, and more intense uh, to get a victory here this evening. Take that to the bank from the birthday Thank boy, you. right? Thank <laughs> you, exactly. And L.A., you've been announcing for the Suns in the Navajo community for like you said, 29 years since 1993. Are you living the dream? This is what you wanted to do. Pretty much, it's been spoken for from early childhood into the future. Today, it's a new world, new beginning, so we're raising the roof, so it's time. You know, Al McCoy has got to win the championship, you know, ain't that it, because, you know, at that age he's at, we need that championship, so we're due for the Phoenix Suns to be winning, so that's where we're at today. So I have to ask you, how do you say happy birthday in the Navajo language? Bahajon go need this chin. Bahajon go need this chin. Happy birthday, Al. Thank you. That's thank wonderful. You. So we have a special gift for you. I know Devin Booker gave you the jersey off his back now, the we, other uh, week. We, we can't Red top that. Record. that. That's yes. hard to do with 64 wins to give you a book signed jersey. Right. But we're going to try. We're going to give you a 12 News polo shirt. Oh, and if you I've want, Cam will sign that. <laughs> What I've always wanted, yes, right? Yes. And yes. a hat. Oh wow! And a hat for the sun. You know, in Phoenix, it's hot. Well, thank you, thank you. Thank, thank you, you for what you do. Also, well a sweet treat. No birthday is complete without a sweet treat. Ah. So, what would be your birthday wish for tonight? A win, a W. Okay. That's <laughs> it. Of course. We didn't want to light it because we didn't want to burn the house down. A so, good idea. Yeah, during the commercial. Yeah. <laughs> thank well, you. Al, give me a prediction for tonight. What do you think? I think it'll be the Suns. Uh, I think they'll step up and uh, be ready to close things out in New Orleans. Here we go. In LA, how about from you? A prediction from you? <laughs> so it's a big win. We got Al McCoy on our side. It's spoken for us, so we got to win. Uh, yes. Here we go. Well, well, it's simple. Al, we're going to have everybody some cupcakes now, right? We'll have much more coming up in sports from the Footprint Center. Guys, back to you.